What is the greatest pickup line in the world? What it actually is, is more like a, a conversational mechanism. I'm gonna unveil the pickup line that dating coaches teach to students all over the world. You can exhibit your personality, be shown to be a normal person, make yourself relatable, be polite, disarm, be complimentary, peace offering, state your business all in one go. I'm Alex Social, a dating and confidence coach, and I've taught students how to do pickup lines and start conversations in real life situations all over the world every weekend since 2007. 700 students I've taught on immersion programs, and all those pickup line details I'm gonna to teach to you here today. The world's best pickup line is actually super easy, but it's not what you think a pickup line is. And as a bonus, I'm gonna give you a list of straight up pickup lines that you can start using wherever you are in the world this weekend. So when you're out socializing this weekend, you know how to start a conversation properly with that girl or woman that you see over there at the bar or the party and not feel hopeless, helpless, and disoriented. But first, some questions. What do you expect the pickup line to actually do? What do you expect the reaction is gonna be? Question number two, how are you gonna get over the anxiety to even do the pickup line? How are you gonna work up the confidence to go and speak to somebody who's intimidating the hell out of you, making you feel kinda of helpless and worthless over there in the corner of the room? The whole point of this is to get you out of confidence and dating misery land. You gotta get this part handled, the stakes are high. So what are pickup lines not? When you think of pickup lines, you're thinking that it's the sort of thing that you see in a movie, you walk up and you say something crazy and clever and funny and you create incredible, powerful attraction. So you might think that if you do a good pickup line, someone's gonna conclusively judge that you've got it going on, that you're so smart and so witty, that they're gonna decide then and there on the spot that they really like you and that you're in. But it's not like that at all. You see these competitions on Steve Harvey or something like that and all these guys walking up trying to say one line. Are you a parking ticket? Cause you've got fine written all over you. Having the girl listening to it decide then and there that the line was so good that she's gonna go home with you. So I don't know where this mainstream belief came up that if you say something like, hey, are you an angel because you just fell from heaven? One of these sorts of things. Hey, did you just trip over? You must be an angel because you fell from heaven. I don't know where those sort of things come from. They don't work, they're kind of funny. They can be a conversation starter, but they don't demonstrate attraction. They don't work as actual real pickup lines. So it's never gonna work that you just walk up and you say one thing and somebody's instantly gonna like you. There's a lot more that goes into it than that. And even then, even if the girl did like you from the first couple of things that she said, it doesn't mean that she's gonna be won over, show affection and do the work for you. In fact, you're probably gonna get a kind of a poker face response and they're gonna quietly hope that you say more. You're never gonna win them over in a line or two. And secondly, how are you gonna overcome the anxiety to go and do the approach anyway? That's a battle in and of itself. The real trick to that is knowing how to get out of the conversation quickly and neatly and politely. If you've got a kind of get out of jail quickly card, if you've got an exit strategy, then it takes a lot of pressure off actually doing the approach. So the way to work up the confidence to go and do an approach and use a pickup line on somebody that you want to speak to is knowing how to politely excuse yourself from the situation if things become a little anxious or a little awkward. And if you can do what we call the elegant off-ramp and that you can leave the conversation neat and tidy, then it makes starting conversations risk-free. Another tip about starting conversations is you're always gonna be nervous, always. So it's easier to make an approach in a neutral location, like actually when you're lining up to get a drink at the bar. That way it's as though you're going to the bar and you incidentally speak to somebody next to you rather than going out of your way to start the conversation. So it takes a lot of pressure off that way as well. And let me warn you, the nervousness is never gonna go away. It's nervous for you, it's nervous for them, but as a gentleman, it's gotta be you that overcomes the nervousness for both you and the girl or woman that you're speaking to to start conversations that otherwise wouldn't happen. So that leads us to the question of what the world's best pickup line actually is. Today's video is brought to you by the concept of the four week natural dating and confidence immersion program. The way the program works is groups of students sign up for a full all intensive immersion course with seminars, live training events in real life social situations, daytime situations, nighttime situations, dating app strategy, a lot of photo shoots, makeovers, lots of seminars and workshops on how to communicate better, how to refine your style and grooming and how to relate to people that you want to bring into your dating life. So we do these programs all over the world. 
They run for five weeks in groups of up to eight people. They're an absolute blast. And to get more information, Google fourweeknatural.com. That's numeral four, the number four, weeknatural.com, and check out the events that are coming up somewhere around the world sometime soon. What is the world's best pickup line? Well, what it actually is, is more like a, a conversational mechanism. And we call this mechanism the engine of conversation. So it's not as easy as you walking up and saying one impressive line or making some kind of a statement or getting some kind of banter. It doesn't work that way. What we've identified to work is the best way to start conversations for you to go as a stranger and do cold approach and meet somebody that you've never met before. That engine of conversation and it's broken up into four different pieces. What are those pieces? They're easy to describe and then I'll give you some examples. So piece number one is there's gotta be empathy. Empathy is when you say, pardon me for interrupting. Number two is there needs to be something complimentary. You wanna come with a positive offer, a positive vibe, goodwill basically. So part number three of the pickup line is you need to introduce yourself. You need to make yourself known to the people that you're speaking to so they have something to work with, that you're not just an unknown entity. Part number four is there needs to be call to action. You need to state your business. Why are you there? Why are you interested? And what is your offer essentially? Why have you approached? So to summarize those four things together, it's empathy, compliment, introduction, call to action. And the most important thing about this is as you speak what would be four, maybe five sentences in a row, which might only take 10 or 15 seconds, you can exhibit your personality, be shown to be a normal person, make yourself relatable, be polite, disarm, be complimentary, peace offering, state your business all in one go. And you're not gonna get attraction. You're not gonna make the person so impressed that they fall in love with you then and there, but it blows that conversation wide open. It's not a tactic, it's not a creepy pickup line, there's no deception, there's nothing clever about it. The engine of conversation is genuinely charming, and real and authentic and a very polite way to meet people and it works so damn well. So the best pickup line of all time, it's not really a pickup line, it's a conversation starter. And it has all of these conversational mechanics strung together one after the other that are all totally intuitive. The things that you would see in movies or that you should be saying to people when you meet them as a stranger anyway, both to be polite but to show that you're really curious in meeting a new person, you're polite about meeting a new person and you come with business. And what is that business, that element, that call of action element, which is the fourth part of the engine of conversation? That is, I'd like to talk to you more. That's your business. I'd like to offer you a drink, if not now, but maybe a little bit later. I'd like to talk to you, I'd like to dance with you guys later, come over and meet my friends later. That's the pickup line, that's the conversation starter. And the effect that that will have, unlike what we spoke about a little bit earlier, where you know, you say something that you heard on the Steve Harvey show, and the girl's like, wow, that's awesome, give me your number and take me home, it's not like that. What that does is that blows the floodgates of conversation wide open. The recipient, the girl or woman that you're speaking to will think, confident guy, polite guy, disarming guy, he's got some business, he's not afraid to show that he's interested. You're ticking all the boxes. Let's say that again, excuse me, something complimentary, introduce yourself, and then some kind of call to action, right? So imagine you're at a wine festival. You go and approach somebody and you say, pardon me, really sorry to interrupt. You disarm, you're polite, you're, you're charming, you're courteous. And then you might say something complimentary. It's like, you could say, you look like an expert, right? You look like a wine expert. You look like you know what you're talking about. You look like you're, you know your way around the wine festival. So something complimentary, kind of a peace offering, positive vibes. Number three, and by the way, my name is Alex. I'm here with my friends. Uh, it's my first time coming here, but I do live here in this city. Number four is, you know, you have a bit of an exchange and then you wanna say, it'd be cool if we spoke a bit later. Or maybe, you know, you're busy with your friends, take my number and we can chat a little later. Or I'll leave you to it, come back and speak to me and my friends later on today. Something like that. All those elements need to be there. If you're missing one of those elements, especially the call to action element, then you're, you're just gonna be the friend. You're not, gonna be, you're not gonna show that you're romantically curious in this person. And of course, that's what dating is all, all about. It's about confidence and showing a little bit of curiosity and intent that I'm considering the idea of wanting to take you on a date in all the socially correct and socially acceptable ways. 
So if that's news to you, hit like, right? If that's a lesson, if you can bring this into your confidence, if you can bring this into your dating repertoire, if this is gonna lead you to meeting new people, hit like because we wanna help. But my question to you is, which of those four elements of the conversational engine is the hardest? I'm guessing the element, the call to action. So four choices, multiple choice. What's the hardest for you? Introduction, compliment, statement of empathy, or call to action. That way I know which one is the most difficult in the next video that I'm gonna make, I can focus on whichever one you want it to be. I'm guessing call to action. Put it in the comments so we can review and reply. And as promised, a list of really good powerful pickup lines that you can use to start conversations and make very engaging conversations very quickly. Ready? Number one, a great line to use and always start with excuse me, pardon me. How many languages can you speak? I'm guessing three. And then you would suggest a couple of languages. English, French, Dothraki, whatever you want it to be, okay? It says a lot about the person, where you think they've traveled, where you think they come from, and it also makes the person curious as to why you think those languages. Pick up line number, number two, a fun pick up line to use is, excuse me, what are you doing on Valentine's Day next year? Now that way you build in a whole lot of kind of intent and curiosity. It's playful, it's provocative, it's a premise of romance, and it's gonna generate flirting almost right away. Pick up line number three. Are guys buying you drinks or are you scaring them away? Okay, again, that kind of like, it's a cold read on, the, on the, the girl or woman that you're talking to. It also evaluates if she's gonna be single or not single. Uh, it shows that you're interested in possibly buying her a drink. And it asks what, it has her asking, why do you read me that way? Pick up line number four. Should we shag now or should we shag later? Shall we shag now or shall we shag later? Evidently that line does not work. We've tested it based on the good advice from our British friend Austin Powers and it doesn't work. So I wouldn't, <laughs> I don't recommend you use that line. But if you're not an internally confident person, pick up lines and conversational openers like the conversation engine, they're not gonna work. So watch this video. Your game is a 10, but it is a truth that you're of value.